Hey everyone, it is Josh Anderson. And the question I get all the time is, how do I balance my food plots and my feeders? Here in Georgia, with a lot of property being 90 to 95% timber, we don't really have these big destination food plots that you hear of across the Midwest. That would be ideal, but just due to limited equipment, you know, no farming around, um, a lot of leases come from timber managed properties and so we're dealing with you know logging decks that are food plots or just small open areas a quarter to a half acre what we don't want is we don't want to put our feeders on each one of those food plots that's just going to bring that pressure and the browse is going to be too much for that food plot so what we found over the past few years that has really helped is we've picked out two to three specific locations on our property and we have designated that area just for feeding. We don't hunt over it. We don't put any pressure on it other than coming in, filling up the feeder. And uh, what this does is a few things. One, it gives, this, it gives these deer a safe, secure, unpressured area where they can feel safe. They can go to the feed. They can get the vitamin, the nutrients, the protein, the mineral that they need that we don't really have with the natural browse. And what that does is that takes a lot of pressure off these food plots to get them to grow, mature, and then once early fall comes, once deer season rolls in, that's where we do the hunting. We do the hunting on the food plots, we do the feeding in the feeders on that safe, secure area, and uh, what we're really doing, kind of killing two birds with one stone, you know, we're providing a year-round nutritional program that deer feel safe and secure at. And we're also getting these food plots and getting our food sources upright so that when that time comes, when the deer are hitting the food plots, we're able there and that's where we hunt them.